time now to let it rip. The Boston Herald's headline says it best about two men arrested after trying to scam kind-hearted people to profit from the murder of a New Hampshire police officer. That headline reads, A Special Place in Hell. Boston police say 40-year-old Ricardo Acevedo and 54-year-old Ralph Gaskell were going door-to-door -door dressed as state police asking for donations in memory of Officer Michael Briggs. Briggs was a Manchester police officer who was killed on duty this month. Acevedo and Gaskell were arrested and charged with impersonating an officer. The shot we had there was of uh, Officer Briggs. It doesn't mm -hmm. get any more despicable mm -hmm. than this. Lower than low, absolutely. I don't know mm -hmm. how much money they collected along the way, VB, but I hope whatever it is, they can put it to where it should go. And then whatever book you can throw at these guys, find it, do it, lock them up, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we ought to bring the... What is it, the stockade back? <laughs> yeah, the get? blocks. Yeah, mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? Look, leave them out in the town square and let people go by and look at them and say... Look and at these. throw eggs at them that they can't buy in Somerville. We'll, we'll get them from somewhere else. Yeah. I'll provide the eggs. Mm -hmm. we'll but there's got to be something. <clears throat> something you could do to these guys that... that I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I'm at a loss. I almost had to laugh when I first heard this story because it's like the joke's on me. I thought when that woman was faking cancer to raise money so she could go down to the Caribbean on vacation, I said, okay... We've hit the lowest depths of scumbagness that there is. But I knew better than to think that. These guys pick up the paper and see that a, a cop is, is taken down, down in the line of duty in New Hampshire. And their first thought is, you know what? We could probably go door to door and scam people out of money. And they would, 62 people got taken before they stopped these guys. It's just unbelievable how the mind works or doesn't work in this case. It's one thing, you know, they're sitting around the coffee table and they're having this conversation. Neither of them says to the other, gee, I don't know, maybe this isn't such a good idea. They totally are like, yeah, great, let's go for it. They even had business cards on them, according mm. to the Herald, in case they were called on whether they were troopers or not. Yeah, you know, and, and what's two things that strike me about this. One, their ages, you know, 40 and 54. I mean, come on, at 54? I, come I on, what are you doing if this is what, you know, your life's work is scamming people? Possibly it is. I mean, who knows? Yeah. Not to not, not to get ahead of ourselves good, here, but it makes me chance. wonder yeah. if you are a career criminal. But number two, though, it makes it that much tougher for legitimate charities to raise money because now everyone, and rightly so, has this air of skepticism. You don't right. know for it's, sure if this is a legitimate well, charity or scam. Don't you get that now when you maybe get some unsolicited calls at home? I'm with so-and-so charity, and you're like, well, I don't know. Oh, yeah. and, you know mm -hmm. Well, what's the rule of thumb? For me, I, I mean, I almost, I don't, I never answer, the, Halloween notwithstanding, that's the exception, but I never answer the door right. if I don't know who it is at the door. I never, ever give money on a personal door-to-door -door solicitation and I almost never give money over the phone because you cannot be sure about who it is and uh, where it's going. You have to assume that, that it's a scam. Right. I always say send me some literature. I'll make send a decision yeah. later. You know, so let me look you up on the BBB first. But we really need it you know? now. <laughs> well, that's I really too bad. Need it now, you should have called me earlier then if you need it now. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it does, but, the, but it's things like this that raise a flag for all, it's unfortunate, but like you said, mm -hmm. all legitimate charities that have the tough task of fundraising, which is a, a, yeah. almost it's impossible a thing. It's tough. It's tough to ask people for money, mm -hmm. and uh, they try to go about it in the right way, and yet you have clowns like this that ruin it for everybody and make everybody even more skeptical and reluctant mm -hmm. to part with their money. It's unfortunate. And I, I, it I, seems, I, what, what can they do to these guys? It people? seems like the court is starting to step up, at least across the country. We'll see about Massachusetts. And they are starting to make examples out of these people. Uh, they, that couple that was in uh, Missouri that was raising money for their quintuplets that they didn't have, they're doing time. I know the woman who took the vacation is doing a couple of years. I hope, thank you. I hope they do finally crack. I, Five years isn't enough for me. I mean, these guys got to do a lot of time. Yeah, this is as low as and as sick as it gets. Hopefully they'll be charged with more than impersonating an officer, even though that's bad. Hopefully they can tack on some more things and, and uh, make sure those, those the term yeah. is served concurrently instead of... Looking through the law books and finding whatever little thing you can stick to these guys mm -hmm. and, and stick it to them. Mm -hmm. and have, them we, have we reached the lowest depths of the scumbag pool now? Is this it? Is this no. as low as we can get? No, there's always a, a, a new form, uh, a new level. And new always. scumbags. Yeah. Just be wary, people, when it comes to giving money for charities. For No matter how noble the cause, make sure the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed and you know as much as you can know about who it is you're giving them to them. Otherwise, you're getting scammed by dirtbags like this. All right.